This is a 2001 Infinity Model RV. I believe it's built by Thor. Uh, this one sits on a Ford powertrain. It uh, has a V10 engine in it. Has a full Banks kit, uh, full exhaust system intake. That's over four grand installed. Adds about 50 horsepower and 70 foot-pounds of torque. Along with that, it gives you a lot better mileage. Uh, this is a 34W, I believe, the uh, model. The W stands for wheelchair accessible. You can see the door right there. The wheelchair lift is built in. I'll show you that in a minute. I'm going to do a, a walk around so you can see the whole outside first. Uh, the exterior is in very good shape. You can see here in the shadow, you can see the silhouettes from the original graphics that were on it. it does have a wireless backup camera. I put that on in the beginning of the year along with a dual DIN in-dash DVD player. Uh, I did not finish wiring it up. It's wired in the back. It's not wired into the reverse switch for the, uh, actually in the dashboard, it's not wired in there, but it's all in place. It just has to be finished up. Just ran out of time, unfortunately, and haven't had any lately. Uh, all the cabinets or storage compartments all lock. They all work properly. Um, all the systems work. The generator works, the hot water heater, the water pump, the AC units, uh, both the ones on the roof. The AC for the engine itself also works great. Uh, the heater works. What else? Everything. Just finished earlier this year. We did a thousand mile, actually I think it was like 1100 mile camping trip with it. Went in the desert uh, for just over a week. No issues whatsoever out there. There were no hookups, so it was all, you know, off-grid camping. A uh, hundred gallon freshwater tank. We had enough water for two people for the week. Uh, also earlier this year, I replaced the headlight assemblies and then I put in some LED bulbs so they're a whole lot brighter than the factory ones were. The halogens just really were not bright. I believe the overall length of this is right around 37 feet. Uh, awning is in good shape too folded it, uh, or I, I rolled it out and washed it off at the beginning of the year. Here is that. So you have two doors here. You have the normal door that with the power step that comes out when you open it. I'll open that guy. Works normal. Okay, then this guy right here. Uh, also, everything locks as it should. So this folds all the way over. You can see. Uh, the wheelchair lift works great. The only issue I've ever had is there's a little spring that's built in here, so you obviously can't use the wheelchair lift as you're driving, so if somebody doesn't accidentally hit it, you know, things happen. Uh, the only issue I've ever had is there's a little spring in here. Sometimes when you open this door, the spring in internally doesn't release all the way, so you just have to, like, push it with your hand just to, you know, make that pop the extra way so you can engage this uh, wheelchair lift. But it's all power... Works great, all electric. And this also, uh, just in case the wheelchair lift ever has issues or breaks or something, this is a very popular brand wheelchair lift, so the parts are readily available. So these two guys both come up, roll the wheelchair on there, then this flap bridges the gap between this and the RV when it gets to the top. Then you hit the button to lift it up, or actually in this case we'll hit the stow button. Little flap is power, as you can hear. Mm -hmm. 
works great. And shut this guy. I'll take you for a quick little walk around tour. Again, power step. A step could probably use a fresh coat of paint, but it's a step. Okay, we have this. Let me shut the door. So you have this guy that folds over. So if you are in your wheelchair or you have kids, you don't want them to step and fall on the step while you're driving. Uh, that's kind of a cool little thing. So it's all flat in here. And then you have these rails to fasten down the chair. That big side door, there's the normal lock, and then you have another safety lock up here. Uh, full shades that go all the way around. You have, also have little fans at the top, 12 volt fans while you're driving it. Actually, it keeps it a lot cooler in here to use those, just so you get a little breeze on your face. Clock. Uh, that is a, that LED TV is replaced, I think. Yeah, it was only, it's only a few months old now. Uh, it has two LED TVs and two Blu-ray players in here. Here is the driver's seat. You can tell, so it's power, and it also power up, power down, and then it twists also. If I can hit the correct button, there we go. So it twists, so when you're in your chair and a little harder to get out, this whole thing will twist all the way around, so you can easily get in and out of your chair, or in your, in, I'm sorry, from in your chair to in this seat. Uh, then this thing also has all the hand controls, throttle, and you have a little suicide knobs, I like to call them. Uh, this thing does have power hydraulic jacks for when you're parked. Just had the motor reservoir system all replaced. 107,000 miles, cruise control works, headlights, taillights, brake lights, all work, brake controller works. Now that's where the original stereo was. Again, I just haven't had time to finish it. I pulled the original stereo out. Kind of used what I had at the moment. It's an ammo can. Yep. Uh, it's a nice deck. It's a Pioneer. Works great. Again, beginning of this year it was replaced. I'll fire this thing up for you. Actually, first let me turn the generator on. Fires right up. Uh, I filled the gasoline tank, I filled the propane tank, and I filled the fresh water. I used the, fil the, the good filter for the fresh water that went in here. Emptied the septic tanks, I uh, rinsed them all out a bunch of times, that way they're nice and clean. Uh, so this is the original couch. There is a bed that pops out of there. Uh, that way you can have more than, you know, just one guest in here. Uh, the vents for the heater, they all work. All of these have been changed over to LEDs, so they take a whole lot less power, less heat, and they're a lot brighter. Smoke alarm, nice little storage spot for your keys. Tons of storage space up there and up here. Uh, this guy also, there's storage underneath where you sit. And also this thing collapses down and then you can bridge the gap between and that makes another bed up if you need it. Uh, stove, top, works awesome. Used it tons of times while camping. Uh, microwave, works awesome. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, water, water pump, water heater, everything works. Fridge, freezer, that all works. Turn a couple more lights on. Let's see. Super freaking huge shower. Huge shower. I'm well over six feet tall and I have more than enough room in there. It's just about the same size as my shower at home, which is really surprising because usually, you know, with RVs you have a little tiny shower and you barely have any room to move. So there you have storage up there. You have a full-size queen bed. This is not an RV queen, it's a real queen. Uh, it had two little tiny beds in this thing when I got it, way too small for an adult. Uh, I pulled them out, I installed this guy, brand new memory foam mattress. 
It has like a five year warranty, I think, on the mattress or 10 year warranty. Super comfy. Uh, another LED TV, Blu ray players in there. Uh, that is for the heater. That works. It just looks ugly, but it works. Um, when I, like I said, there used to be two little beds in here, so that kind of dumped out below the bed, and there was a, uh, a vent built into the side of the bed. I just haven't come up with a good way to, to make that look halfway decent. Just again, ran out of time. Ample storage space. These daytime and nighttime uh, uh, window shades, pretty freaking cool. I've had other RVs in the past and they, didn't, they had normal shades, not these awesome things. So daytime, nighttime, so you don't have your nosy neighbors looking at what you're doing inside. Yeah, like I said, everything works, drives awesome. Just did a well over a thousand mile trip earlier this year had no issues at all uh, the only thing it really needs is just that center console finished that's that's it please let me know if you have any questions thank you very much